What's going on, everybody? My name is Chris, and welcome back to some more Cat Lady, where I'm literally a cat. Last episode, we found ourselves in this weird building in which we're being. We just got bleach poured on us. And. Oh, hi. Totally didn't see that one coming. Shh, you can't see me. Good thing I was right pretty much behind this door. What's that? Is that a gun? It's a weird gun. Try to do anything? Oh, I. Does that noise happen whenever I walk to the left? No, it's just... It's just okay, well... What, what do I do now? Oh! Okay... 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 Well, apparently when I go to use the key, spit out, it just makes me go meow meow. Can I do it up here? What happens if I do it up here? Bad things? Meow! I need to make it back to Susan somehow. Ooh! Oh! Oh! It was when he was looking down. That's when I was supposed to jump over. Okay, I did that by mistake, but I see what I was supposed to do. Of course. That was very obvious. That was stupid of me. How very stupid. Run, kitty cat! Run! Run for your little master's life! Aw, oh, it looks so adorable. So adorable. Okay, let's go here and then spit it out. Okay, unlock it for me, kitty cat. Now I'm back alive. That'd what? be pretty neat. Who's this? My it's... eyes. I can't. I can't see a thing. That bitch. Can I feel this? It doesn't really sound like it because I'm not screaming or anything. And I imagine that would hurt quite a bit. Who are you? Say something. Anything. Meow. Just meow. Meow. I. I should be able to unlock the handcuffs now. Damn sound effects. Am I moving? I, what, uh, what? Hello? Ah, a gun. A gun! That idiot left his gun! Okay, let's take it. No! Oh. No, no, no! I dropped it! You Where asshole, how? It? Where the hell is it? How do you drop that? Sir, sorry, I turned my head away. I apologize if you, my voice just went all weird, Floor. Search. I've got it. it. There you go, that was kind of pointless, actually. <laughs> okay. I can't seem to walk all the way to the right. I'm pressing right right now, but I can't seem to do anything. She is. Oh! I'm sorry, Mitzi. I well, have to okay. break my promise. Well, because I'm going to be back alive, anyways. Just do it. Come on. Don't even be worried, because you're going to be back alive, because you're immortal. Come on. I'm waiting for it. Ah! There we go. Okay. Now, come back alive. And maybe you'll have your sight back. Maybe. No promises. You are dead. Yeah, is that is that a bad thing? Am I not immortal? I mean, didn't we just do this before? Hello? Is this bad news bears? Death is nothing at all. You have slipped into the next room, and I, and I are you, and whatever we are. What? Okay. Interesting. Who's that? Is that Mitzi? That's Mitzi. Hi. Hope you don't mind creepy posters. It's your room. You can do what you like with it. But I definitely prefer this to fairies, rainbows, and True. Pink unicorns. Downfall Did the adventure game? <laughs> no. My boyfriend made them. Some of them, anyway. Hmm. So, Miss Ashworth. I happen to have a bottle of wine in my Ooh. bag. I was going to leave it to Robert, but I forgot all about it. Robert? The guy with the rats? Oh, ah, yes. Of the course. rat guy. So, I'm kind of lost in thought right then? now. I'm like, okay, what's going on? More. I know, I promise I won't get in the way. And, I mean, you don't have to if you don't feel like it. We're going to be dealing with but two parasites here. Together for a little while. It won't hurt if we talk to each other, will it? Yeah, maybe. That's okay, I guess. Are you sure you can drink in yeah, your condition? that's okay, I guess. Yeah, Great. I mean, 
I'll bring the wine. There's no point asking if she can drink in her condition. She's gonna die anyways. Okay, you have to slip away into the next room. Oh, I am I, I you are you. Court. Wherever we were to have each got other. Open that was still I. In the kitchen. I'll go get it, shall I? Yes, please. Okay. And while you're there, could you get a couple of glasses too? I don't wear glasses, silly. Okay. Let's see. She reminds me of myself when I was younger. Oops. I'm not sure I can fully trust her, but she seems genuine. Maybe I'll give her a chance. Have you found that corkscrew yet? Yes! We also need some wine glasses. I'll use my finger. Okay, let's go. Mm -hmm. This place isn't too bad. Now she's fixed it up a bit. By fixed it up, maybe just put some posters up. But, you know. Okay, I guess she doesn't seem too concerned with the thing that just happened. Like, you know, shooting yourself and all. But, you know. Oh, we could call her mother. Is that still? Oh, I stopped paying my phone bills. Okay. Yeah, you have someone to call. You have to call Mitzi's mother and ask her, Hey, is this a terrible, terrible girl? Okay, uh, cupboard. Open it up. Use cop front. Use take scork, the scork screw. I forgot I even had that. Close cupboard. Where do I get, where do I get glasses from? I do have a bottle of something there. Apparently she doesn't want to touch them. I don't know where I'm going to get glasses from. Oh, well, I do have one mug. Only one mug, though. <laughs> I guess we'll go get that now. Do I have any... Oh, there we go. Take wine glasses. Oh, yeah. She hasn't had a drink since Eric. Okay, this will be interesting then. One for me, one for Mitzi. Yay! Let's go. Lego. I love Legos, actually. Do you like Legos? You probably should like Legos. All right, let's go in here. Hi, I have brought peace offerings, aka wine glasses. Hi, here you go. I found some wine glasses. Stop hey, whining about the glasses. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, uh. Nothing, just fancy. Should probably give this to Mitzi. There, there you go. go. Let's get that bottle open. Woo! Party, all party, right. party! That's all we need. Oh, and Miss Ashworth, I really must say this before we start. Actually, I actually yeah. forgot about the corkscrew. I was looking I for glasses in the cupboard. When you're asleep. Well, that's Very comforting. funny, Mitzi. That she brought oh, no, that I up mean again. It. That's fine, but just so you know. No promises, I I'm lying. Always hands. sleep with my eyes open. Sleep with one eye open. Uh oh. So the big C. You want to talk about it? Who's the big C? Oh, cancer. Right. Oops. Um. Oh, it's not raining anymore. How are you planning to find this guy? So, the big C. Want to talk about it? Nope. Probably uh, not. To be honest, I didn't really want to tell you about it like that. I put you in a very difficult position, I know. It's just that I was really desperate to get this room. I hope you can understand. This yeah, is when the, the last and most important thing I must do. My well, the Queen of Megan's kissed her. I thought perhaps it's fine. that man. You seem all right. Either it's she was a parasite, or she's gonna be killed by I the parasite. I find it hard to trust people these days. Maybe it's time I opened my eyes to see others have problems too. Some, like yourself, even bigger than mine. Or my original what kind thing of was right. Is it? Do well, you the Queen of Megan is a parasite, and that Queen of Megan is killing Thank her. You. Her name is uh. Cleoblastoma. <laughs> she named it? Yep, they're all girls, uh. the way I imagine it. Just look at their names. Lymphona, Melanoma, Myeloma, Leukemia, Sarcoma. Each of them a fucking goddess of death. Beautiful and ruthless. Something mm, like that. You might just be right about that, Mitzi. S wouldn't I say it like that, but something I like that. I know a few things about cancer. And I know Glioblastoma. She's a real bitch. Yeah. yeah, and yet she gets to be the prom queen before night ends while I disappear down the back exit. How sad. How long? They said I had a year. That was how that long was ago? six months ago, so... Yeah. Yeah. That's sad. Not awfully long. Knowing exactly when you're gonna die would be a very sad thing. Is there anything? They've tried. Well, at the same time, you'd feel very free I'm to do sorry. anything you wanted to do. So that's yeah. kind of like the silver... Well, not really, because I mean... So 
Oh, that's a difficult thing to talk about. You're gonna about. talk about something else. But it's like, if you knew exactly when you were gonna die, what would you do? Like, would you spend your last year, like, if you didn't know you're gonna die, you'd just spend your last year just doing, like, whatever, not really trying to live your life. But if you did know when you're gonna die, you would do, like, anything you would imagine to do, like, just to see what it'd be like, right? Um, how are you planning, how are you to, find planning this guy? to find this guy? I don't know yet. A bit of detective work, perhaps. It shouldn't be that hard, really. There are only eight apartments here. One Why don't you just go knock on everybody's door and be like, seven. Hey, I'm selling Girl Scout cookies. Hand, actually. You know some of your neighbors, don't you? Yes. Not many. I never really cared about them. They changed over the years, too. You probably also figured by now that this is not the sort of place where new neighbors are greeted with a freshly baked cake. <laughs> you see a new face, you give them a blank stare as you pass them in the hall, and you forget about them a minute later. That bad, eh? Well, there's that bull guy who lives above me in flat five. He came here recently to shout in my face. He's a nasty piece of work, but I really don't think he's the person you're looking for. Who knows? What does he do for a living? I think he's a train driver. Yeah, that'll be an I can't interesting imagine job. somehow that my guy would be a train driver. Okay, that's good. Uh, that gets one of the one, guy. Just six. Yep. Unless uh, so I'm the person Anyone she's else looking you know? for. And I just disguise I myself think. as a guy on the internet. You know, maybe not tonight. Let's just talk about something else, okay? With the fact there's no rain. Time. There's no need to rush this. Yeah, maybe six tomorrow months. Maybe tomorrow we can sit down together and make a plan. I could draw a simple map of the building, and with your help, mark down who lives where? Sounds Something good like to me, Mitzi. Rhyming! Oh, yay! It's not raining anymore. Good observation! I don't mind Woo! rain. Sometimes I even like it. Rain is nice. But I like According it too. to weather forecast, there's a nasty fog coming. Now that I'm actually scared of. I got lost in a huh. fog once when I was just nine or ten. I remember I sat under a tree crying, thinking some monster would appear right in front of me and drag me away. Yeah, fog. But now that you're a big girl, you know there are no monsters. No, nope, we are the monsters. Yeah. How do you know? Ooh, that's right. What if there are monsters? Never seen one, nah, nor has anyone else. The only real monsters are us, murderers, rapists, arsonists. Maybe you're right. The only yeah. monsters well, that's are what us. I was literally just murderers, saying that, so. Rapists, arsonists. Yeah. They're the real beasts. So far from humanity, they're no longer capable of feeling compassion or guilt. They're the ones we should really be afraid of. True. But whether they're lurking in the woods, or fog, or the darkness of our cellars, it's all irrelevant. Well, that's creepy. You can't predict what happens. You can't do anything to stop it. What if there was murder living in there your cellar? There is only one way. We even have cellars nowadays. You turn like into no a one. beast yourself. Wah, and wah, like wah. them, you show no mercy. Whoa! Where did that come from, Miss Ashley? Because I killed one! I killed Dr. X! I murdered I his face like off. I don't like murderers. They're but nothing but, but I'm like Dexter. I'll parasites. kill people who murdered. Oh, good, good word choice. Good hinting at the word. Mention a boyfriend. You Tell me something the boyfriend. about him. Tell me something about him. Okay, he's stupid okay. and ugly and butthead like. Him. His name is Jack. Does he climb beanstalks? He's dead. Oh well. How would he die? Oh. Miss Ashworth, are you sure you want to listen about my miserable life? I don't want to bring you down. These aren't happy stories. Yeah, well, um, I have no happy stories I'm not stories a either. happy stories kind of person. I'm sure you've noticed by now. I guess me, so. Mona, me. Anyway, okay. I suppose I would have had to tell you about Jack sooner or later. After all, he is the main reason I'm Don't here. tell me he was killed by a giant after climbing a very large tree. Don't know where to start. Don't you dare. Tell me how you two met. How did you take the news about your cancer? Jack me all because I don't know. Was he an artist? Tell me how let's you two met. this first. Oh, we knew each other for like forever. We grew up on the same street. Oh, that's adorable. It's funny how we seem to be made for each other. Perfect match. I always like those kind of I stories. I always knew he was the guy for me, and I'm sure he never doubted that either. Jack was absolutely crazy about me. We thought one day we would marry, have children, be happy. Ah, uh, isn't that everybody's dream? I never had many friends because I had Jack. Until life gets in the I way. I didn't need anybody else. 
You know, if there's one thing I'm really grateful for in my life, it's that I got to experience this pure, perfect love. Some people go through a lifetime without knowing how it feels. Very true, yes. I guess I've been very lucky. Hmm. But all luck runs out sometimes. Sooner or later. Ah. Jack Let's made those this. pictures on your wall. Was Try to separate artist? when we talk he about the big C. Morbid stuff, whether it was music, movies, paintings. So do I, really. We had that in common, amongst other mm. things. I wonder how he died. Well, we got the option to ask People that say here. It's depressing to listen to sad songs or watch sad films, but I never felt that way. And yet, you are scared of fog. Oh, that's different. I might be scared uh. of fog. But I like spiders. I kind of agree with listening to like sad music and all that. Sometimes you sad music doesn't make you sad. It kind of no, honestly, gives you like a certain I don't know. Beauty in well, sadness. not what she's saying. Like there's, there's not beauty in the gray, sadness, ugly but I mean, morning when you look past the obvious and notice what others can't see. I don't know. Well, saying the sad music can sometimes make heart, you just then. feel I don't know, like it's emotional. Like ugly took a vacation here and never went home again. It's good to feel emotional sometimes. Okay, how, how did he die? Did I'm actually curious about this. Maybe how the guy in the apartment building killed him. I'll I just asked that, that twice. Ashworth. Let me just tell you more about him first, so you could understand what happened. Um, I, I, I how could did ask he take that again, but I'm not going to. Cancer. He thought I was joking at first. Yeah. He laughed. And he got really angry. That's I think the joke was. I'm sorry, I'm not again. But he still wouldn't leave me. We had a big fight that night. It was our first and only fight. It was awful. I would imagine it would be pretty bad, stuff. yes. His guitar, of all things, was the worst. He loved that guitar. Why did he break it? Mm. He was absolutely he furious. Hmm, he died recently then. He walked out on me that night, and when he came back the next day, he was different. He begged me to try surgery and chemotherapy. I didn't really want those things. But I did the chemo for him. It didn't help. It just made me feel sick yeah. all the time. I felt trapped in this strange place where nothing that happened around me seemed real. Maybe that's why I didn't see what my cancer was doing to Jack. And it was destroying him as well. I would imagine, yeah. Maybe he killed himself as well. He changed. Yeah, that he would change somebody. became obsessed with death. It seemed death was all he ever thought about. Even though it was me, not him, who was supposed to die. Well, maybe not. I don't think he did die. How did he die? I, I doubt he would How kill himself, at least die? until she died, right? Maybe the guy in this apartment building did kill her. Or him, I mean. It was so distant in the last few weeks before. before he didn't he died. kill himself, right? He couldn't have. What I didn't know was that he kept looking for something. I don't think he even knew what exactly, but it eventually found him. Or what rather, found him? He found him. Okay, maybe it is the guy in this apartment block that killed him. There are those forums online, you know, about all mm -hmm. sorts of stuff. Fishing, computer games, horses, gambling, addictions, everything really. Yeah, Accidentally, true. Found one about beards the other day. About suicide. Uh, oh. There's a guy there calls himself the Eye of Adam. He's a fucking god on that forum. It's like a failed suicide club. People mostly try to help each other and offer support. Sometimes it just helps to know there are others like you. True. To listen to their stories and, and how they cope with their lives. Mm -hmm. But the Eye of Adam is an advocate of death. Uh, how is he like a death is freedom he kind of person? Human weakness. Yeah. His job is to plant an idea. Give them a reason to die and tell them how to do it. Once and for good. Jack took the bait. Oh. So she's Before trying to find the eye of Adam. He brainwashed. One day he sat down with me and tried to explain his perfect solution. It was the Romeo and Juliet kind of scenario. We were both to die together in each other's arms. It was supposed to be a quick and foolproof death. There was no chance we would have been saved. All thanks to the eye of Adam, who created a tool for perfect suicide. He told me it was very simple. 
I wonder what it is. needed were two easily accessible household chemicals. Oh. Which combined together create gas called hydrogen sulfide that kills you within a couple of minutes. I told him he was fucking nuts. Ammonia and bleach? I know that kills you. Just wouldn't give up. He reasoned with me, and he begged, and eventually just kept screaming at me. I figured it was his crazy idea of a modern romance. But it was downright tacky and just wrong. I'm sure smoking that pretty, pretty constantly. He oh, said he and would I get stopped. everything ready and wait for me in our special place at dawn. Five What's in the morning. Special place? Don't be late. Is that the bridge? The last words he said to me. Then he stormed out. I cried for hours, thinking I, I didn't deserve all that from the person I love most true. in the whole world. Very true. A few true. times I even That'll tried to persuade sad. myself that maybe he was right and I should do it. Aw, it's just like... Couldn't. So he killed himself without her. I eventually fell asleep. I didn't plan it. My head was killing me. I was so tired. I woke up suddenly. I could see the sun rising out my window. Aw, oh, she totally saw him die, didn't she? Five. In utter panic, I threw myself off the bed and ran out the door. I needed to stop him. I needed to get there before it was too late. That was a really right sad story. In my bedroom, before I even left, I already knew yeah. it was. When I arrived at our special place, this looks like a parking lot it near was the bridge. already bright. We used to go there in the past, drink wine, sometimes smoke weed and listen to Pink Floyd, sometimes make love in Jack's car. There wasn't really anything special about that old parking lot. But to us there was. It was completely abandoned. Yeah, was I could quiet. tell by all these cars here. It was safe. I got enough of this episode. Day, Stop talking, woman. Again. Yeah. Okay. Well, I guess. Hello? Okay. Thanks a lot for watching this episode. Please feel free to like, subscribe, already. My name is Chris, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Peace!